Guys, today I will show you how to recover your password or what do you do if you forget your password in Gmail. So all you need to do is log in with your username. Next. Obviously when you log in it will ask for the password. Just click on forgot. And it will give you option that what was the last password you have used. So I whatever I thought it was the password, I'm gonna try and use that. But Google will send me a text message to my mobile phone which is ending with 441. Sometimes if you don't have your phone, then they send email to your other address you may have attached with this account. This is why it's important that you either keep mobile phone number or you add your another alternative email address. Another thing you need to remember, which is very important, that as soon as you change your telephone number, you make sure you update it into the Gmail account when you log in. You're probably wondering why you have a call option or text option. Sometimes people put landline telephone number because not everybody has a mobile phone. So if it's a landline number, then you will can automatically call on your mobile phone. So I'm just going to, instead of receiving, receiving a text message, I will just tell Google that uh, make a call to me. So I'm going to press call. And I should get a call on my mobile phone. There you go. I'm going to put on loudspeaker. Hello. Thank you for using Google phone verification. Remember, you should not share this code with anyone else, and no one from Google will ever ask for this code. Your code is 3-4-3-6-3-2. Again, your code is 3-4-3-6-3-2. Goodbye. As you can see how how clever Google is and they are really good and this is what I like about Google that they have security and safety so if you don't have a mobile phone you don't need to panic you can, you can put your landline number and then you choose your password Now you realize I'll show you my password when I created my account, but now I'm not going to show it. So if you tried logging into my password, it's a good try guys. Oops, it's not letting me save the password. Right, okay, if you don't want to change the password, you can't skip and go into your account because you verified the code with your landline. So if I skip, Google will still log me in because Google sent me a message and I am into the actual my device and it tells me that of how many times I've logged in and how many times I've been verified. So as you can see, I've logged in without creating a new password. Just continue. And then you go into your um, Gmail and then um, advanced settings, I think, and then you can change password there as well. So every time you want to log on, make sure you've got your mobile with you. And this is very important. If you lose your mobile phone, make sure, make sure you get your mobile phone blocked by ringing your service provider. Because on your mobile phone, you will have a lot of sensitive data if you release one account, it will lead to so many accounts and you could get in trouble by lots of fraud happening online. So it's very important 
that you keep your mobile phone secure with the security code and keep it locked and if you lose it you get it reported otherwise it will give people to go online on gmail and they could verify and log into your account and they can easily go into the further options and then they can easily um, update all the details and everything you do with google that linked up with your banks gmail account and there are thousands of websites which are connected with gmail and they can easily be hacked into so it's very important that you must up keep your google account up to date and keep your mobile phone very secure thank you goodbye